kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and today we're starting with a story problem. So it says, together Marnie and Serena have $1.20. They want to share the money equally. How much money will each person get? All right, so let's think about that. What does it actually look like with money? So we've got our fancy schmancy real $1 bill again, right? So they have a dollar bill. We can even put it right there. And then they have 20 cents. So they've got two dimes and they want to share <coughs> share it equally we'll just put it like that so one dollar and two dimes right so two dimes are worth 20 cents so we would put a two there but we also have to include the zero because they're actually worth 20 cents so 20 of a, um, out of a hundred cents right okay and then we can also picture it like this one hole filled in that would represent our dollar and then 20 cents we have two tenths filled in two dimes okay now i better take off this penny because that one's out for right now there are no pennies okay so we've got one dollar and 20 cents now how will you do this to show that they're going to share equally there's lots of ways to think about this so i want you to hit pause right now and i want you to come up with how would you decide or determine how much money each girl would get. All right, hit pause. All right, so I'm gonna take some guesses on how you thought about this. So I'm gonna guess that some of you knew that half of a dollar would be 50 cents. So maybe you thought about um, over here we've got Marnie, and over here we've got Serena, and maybe you just decided to split up the 50 cents and 50 cents, the dollar into 50 cents and 50 cents rather. And then maybe you decided you could also divide the two dimes that are left in half, and that would give one dime here. Remember, one dime. But I have to, when talking money, I have to put that um, zero behind it because it's still worth 10 cents, right? So then over here, we'd have 10 cents. So each girl would get a 50, cent, uh, 50 cents plus 10 more cents. So that would be 60 cents, right? So each girl would get 60 cents. Or maybe you just decided to think about it as 12 tenths. So you can actually see that $1.20 on our picture chart here would be the same as 12 tenths. And maybe you thought, all right, I know half of 12 tenths would just be one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. So there's six tenths. Can you see that? No. How about now? Yeah. Six tenths. And then one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. So each girl gets the same amount also known as six tenths and six tenths like that. All right, I'm sure there's lots of other ways, but I do wanna come back to this way again, and I wanna talk a little bit more about representing that with, um, hold on, there we go. <sighs> Had to just go to the floor. Um, to represent this with the distributive property, because this is actually the distributive property. So if you had, um, $1.20 and you were breaking it apart in pieces, you did $1 divided by two. That was our 50 cents, right? Plus we also did two dimes divided into two groups. Two groups would be Serena and Marnie, right? And we knew that was 10 cents. So even though this was super probably simple for us to see with the money and the pictures, I also want you to know it's the same thing as this. 50 cents plus 10 cents is still 60 cents, right? So you can start even considering things like this. All right, kids, I think that's going to be it for me this time. I will see you next time. Bye.